Naval fleets globally deploy a diverse range of ships, each tailored for specific roles and missions. Over the years, the designations and roles of these maritime powerhouses have evolved, reflecting changes in naval warfare and technology. This evolution has introduced complexity and blurred classifications, adding a layer of intricacy to the ever-evolving world of naval vessels. In this video, we'll explore the main types of modern naval vessels. Cruisers, destroyers, frigates, and corvettes, shedding light on their unique characteristics. Let's dive right in. A cruiser is optimized for general warfare, capable of interdicting surface traffic, providing anti-aircraft cover, engaging in anti-surface ship warfare, and conducting anti-submarine warfare since the Cold War. The modern cruiser is comparable to the standard Navy surface warship, reminiscent of 18th and early 19th century frigates. Modern cruisers are generally the largest ships in a fleet after aircraft carriers. Originally constrained by the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922, cruisers have a maximum displacement of 10,000 tons and a main battery caliber, limited to 8 inches or 203 millimeters, although these numbers can vary. Today, cruisers, like the American Ticonderoga class or the Russian Slava class, are armed with guided missiles and play a crucial role in fleet operations. The genesis of destroyers can be traced back to the 1880s, when the Spanish Navy pioneered their development as a defense against torpedo boats. These relatively small warships evolved over time, becoming essential assets for escort missions, combat fleet operations, and countering threats from submarines, aircraft, and smaller, fast adversaries. In the 21st century, destroyers have ascended to become the predominant standard for surface combatant ships. Though smaller and less heavily armed than cruisers, they hold a critical place in modern naval warfare. Modern guided missile destroyers, exemplified by the American Arleigh Burke class, showcase comparable tonnage but wield significantly greater firepower. Equipped with nuclear-tipped cruise missiles, these vessels surpass historical counterparts, embodying the essence of naval evolution. The frigate, historically characterized as a vessel between a cruiser and destroyer, underwent a significant redefinition in 1975. This transformation shifted frigates from their intermediary status to smaller vessels with more specialized roles within naval operations. Modern U.S. Navy frigates are specifically designed for escort missions, protection of merchant convoys, and anti-submarine warfare, assuming a role distinct from their larger counterparts. Their smaller size and less substantial armament make them cost-effective specialists in naval operations, reflecting the ongoing adaptation of naval classifications to contemporary needs. Corvettes, representing the smallest class of warships, are designed for coastal defense roles. Characterized by their agility and maneuverability, corvettes may lack the firepower of their larger counterparts, but their design prioritizes speed and versatility. Typically deployed for tasks such as patrolling coastal waters and providing rapid responses to maritime threats, corvettes fulfill vital roles in safeguarding territorial waters. Their smaller size makes them valuable for specific naval missions, emphasizing adaptability and efficiency in the face of diverse maritime challenges. As we navigate the seas of naval evolution, each class of vessel stands as a testament to the ongoing adaptation of naval strategy, technology, and capabilities. The historical continuum of cruisers, the evolution of destroyers from torpedo boat defense, the transformation and specialization of frigates, and the agility of corvettes, collectively paint a comprehensive picture of naval prowess. As naval technology continues to advance, these vessels will likely undergo further transformations, shaping the future of naval warfare on a global scale. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And, as always, if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.